Hey everyone, welcome back to art class. I am so excited about this week because it is all about one of my very favorite artists and his name is David Hockney. So he is an English painter and he is one of the most famous painters in the world. He is famous for painting people, landscapes, and pools. But this week we are going to be painting either or of these two um, landscapes, David Hockney landscapes. He is known for using really bright colors that kind of just pop out of you from the paintings. And he has painted scenes from both California and England where he is from because he has houses in both places. Pretty amazing, right? All right. So in this video, we are going to learn how to draw these landscapes so that in our next video, we will know exactly where to apply our paint. You guys already have all of the color mixing skills from our last lesson in week one, so you will be ready for this week. Today, I'm going to talk about how to draw this one. And this one, if you like um, um, this landscape better, you can definitely draw that. But I'm gonna show you how to draw this one. And this painting is called Pacific Coast Highway in Santa Monica. And it was painted in 1990, about 30 years ago. Okay, all right. So, what do you need? You need pencil, eraser, you need to have that picture um, right in front of you that can be on your computer screen or you can print it out and you'll be ready to go. All right, let's get set up here so we're nice and ready. So, I have already done the drawing before but now it's time for me to show you. So. Like always, follow along with me if you want to, or watch the video and then do it on your own. All right, the very first step to drawing anything is observing. Say observing. Observing. What does that even mean? Observing is a way to say you are looking at the picture, but it's more than just looking you're kind of studying it. You're looking for shapes. All right, there's a triangle. There's a kind of U shape. Here is a triangle. Here's a U shape. Hmm, I see that there's blue colors in the background and greens and reds in the foreground and a, like a pink on these mountains. Right now we're looking for lines, but it's good to notice the color too. All right. I have big white paper. When you're doing this project, try to use big paper and make sure it's nice and thick. You don't want to use computer paper because we are going to be painting. So make sure you have it nice and thick. I'm going to write my name and then I flip it over and I'm going to draw on this side. Okay, the very first thing is to notice where are the main shapes in this picture. It's really complicated, but we can break it down. All right, the main shapes that I see are this, um, is this mountain. So it's about halfway on my page. So I'm going to draw the mountain. And I'm drawing this line. This line is stands out to me so I'm going to draw it and then it goes down this way goes back up curved on the top and down this line goes all the way off the page so we've just started the mountains okay let's draw this side of the mountain it goes down and then right back up and then down again. It kind of ends right here, right? Okay, all right. It has some blue parts in the mountain, so I'm gonna add those. That's just like a little shape. I know that this 
represents this little blue shape right here. That's what I'm looking for. There's one little mountain in the background right here. Boop, boop. Okay. All right. Then this line kind of curves to here. There's a line right here I'm going to draw. These are the shadows of the mountain. And here. There's a line here. Oh, actually, there's a big swooping curve. So I'm going to add that in. That's nice and um, important in the picture. Big curve. There's these like little trees up here. I'm going to draw those. I'm not really adding any texture or any detail. I'm really just drawing the basic shapes that I see in this landscape painting. I'm drawing this um, triangle right here, this yellow triangle. Okay. All right. Look how this, it looks like a little ocean right here. So I'm going to draw that. This curves around and goes off, goes off the page. You see that? Okay. Up here, you can see a sliver of land. So I'm going to draw just from the top of my page, making sure that it's kind of close to the mountain. I notice, oh, that starts about where that mountain tip is. That's what you're looking for. Where do these shapes start and end? Little shape here. Okay. All right. Let's move over to this side. There are some mountains in the background, much smaller than these. So let's add those in. Okay, let's see. One that goes up. Mine are not going to look exactly like David Hockney, but that's okay. All right, there's these three little mounds. I'm going to add those. Now the mountains can kind of go around them. If you're watching this and you're like, Miss Wright, this is too complicated. Just take it one step at a time. Again, if it's feeling complicated, just follow along with me and you can just make exactly my drawing that I'm doing. But also don't be afraid if whenever you finish drawing your picture, if it looks different from his. Because the point is just practicing observing, but it's not trying to be um, perfect. Okay. Again, mine is not perfect at all. Not, not everything is going to line up perfectly. Okay, remember when we drew this big curve right here? That's this line in the picture. You see how that's a big curve? We're going to stop, stop it here and then send it back. This becomes like this windy road on the hill. So we're going to go here. Kind of goes down there. And then it starts curving. And all the way down. Oop, there's a little bit of ocean down here. I'm going to draw that. Okay. Here's this road. It almost like ends in the ocean. All right. Nice and thick up here. And as it gets farther away, farther away from us, it gets smaller. So when you are making landscape paintings, Things that are closest to you, that's called the foreground, things that are closest to you are bigger, right? And then the things that are far away are smaller, or you draw them smaller. And that is a trick that artists use to draw things um, to make them look 3D. All right, this, mat, uh, this mountain goes like this. I'm going to draw a line here, zigzag it on the way down, kind of curves, woo, like that. It goes back up. Okay, let's see. So this is not perfect down here, but I'm okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep going with it. That's okay. Woo. I'm just following my pencil, following my lines. Have you noticed that I haven't really used my eraser? That's because I'm not too concerned about this being perfect. 
I'm also not using sketchy lines like that. I'm just drawing continuously. That means I don't pick up my pencil really. I'm just keep I'm just looking at the picture and then I'm drawing. That is the most important thing. All right, I'm drawing this big shape right here, kind of curves and curves around. Woo. Curves this way and then meets that. Okay, that's good. All right, here we go. Curves. There's a little road starting up here. Ooh, that looks fun. I want to go on that road. So one of the things that I love about David Hockney's paintings is that they don't look exactly like real life. This is inspired by a real place, which is Santa Monica in California, but it's not supposed to look exactly like that place. David Hockney's style is really colorful and bold, and he uses lots of shapes instead of really like um, realistic details. That's not what he is about. He doesn't care about making things look realistic. He wants them to have, um, he wants people who look at his paintings to get an emotional feeling, to get a feeling um, when they look at them. So this is really bright and colorful, reminds me of summer. Drawing this tree over here. If your line stops, just continue it on, right? Okay? Okay. All right, let's see, let's see. Now's the time where I start to look around and see what I missed. Okay, I can see I missed some lines here in the mountains. You see these blue shapes? We're going to draw those shapes right here. Okay. All right, let's draw those shapes. Let's. They start here. They go up, down, up, and down. Then here, down, over, up. Okay, there's a pink shape in the middle. Kind of shaped like a trapezoid. Draw that. This. This. Blue shape right here. Okay. I'm looking around, seeing what I missed. Anything? I see, oh, there's some like orange plants down here, so I'm going to add those in so I know to paint those orange. And I think that I am done. Okay. All right. So. How are you feeling? You feel like you can do it? I hope you do. And I hope you remember too that this project is not about being perfect. It's about studying Hockney's landscapes and creating a painting just like his. Okay, at this part A, I want you to finish your drawing with your pencil and then let's get set up in part B and learn actually how to paint this landscape. Good luck, guys.